So this is my uh, little pond that I've set up uh, probably about four, uh, two, three weeks ago. It took about a week to dig it. Uh, did it by myself and uh, Diana. And we've, uh, well, I, we've done most of the, the digging and then uh, I did uh, the bricks and the plants myself. And all this setup from start to finish probably took about uh, three weeks. These bricks, um, you probably buy them at any Home, Home Depot or Lowe's for about a dollar fifty each. I have probably about thirty or forty here. Um, plants, individual plants here for sale. Buy them at you know at the garden area for sale. Try to buy the if you're gonna sell something like this. Try to buy the ones that come back year after year. It doesn't matter what kind they are. But if they can get flowers ones, the better. Because you don't, you're not gonna take them up and then put them in the house and then put them back. It's just a lot of hassle. So just try to find the ones that come back year after year. And I have here um, one, two, three, four, and five solar power um, night lamps. Um, just had a little accident earlier. All my fish uh, died, and I had to redo the whole. The whole setup, change out the water out, clean out, scrub out everything. Uh, a few tips for you if you're gonna set up something like this. You can see a little fish down there. Uh, this is a new one that I just bought. Um, let me see if I can find him for you. There he is. You see him right there. Yeah, it's a uh, shibukin. Um, probably about two, three dollars. But uh, if you're gonna set up something like this, don't buy feeder fish and put them in here. Because uh, when they when fish die like this, they tend to mold really fast, and the feeder fish die really fast. And you're not gonna look at be here 24/7 to see what kind of fish are dying and take them out. So when they die and at night, they'll probably mold, and when they mold, that spreads to all the other fish, and that kills them really fast. You know, even when you see that green stuff flakes start forming in their skin, they're pretty much dead. Uh, you can try to move them to another tank to try to save them, but uh, chances are within 24 hours they will be dead. Um, I don't have a filter installed in here yet, but uh, I do have a spitter here. This is a frog spitter. I'll turn it on and uh, you can see how it works. I have a wire running all the way down here into the pond. This is the spitter, so it just uh, shoots from the pump there all the way up into the spitter. This provides enough oxygen for the fish to live. Probably can't see the fish uh, when the water is moving like this, but this is pretty good for the fish. I have here uh, a few floating plants, a lot of plants in the corner for the fish to hide and eat. and back here got some mums mints coffee plants and some uh, other plants that I brought from Lowe's this is a flowering plant that's it so this is my pond at night um, you can see the how the lights are lighting up I have a light here um, right off the porch a light in the corner uh, these lights kind of pretty well See this light here that I showed you lights up the base of the pond. There is a fish right there. You probably can't see it. Um, here is another light. See, the lights look pretty pretty well for um, nighttime. Creates a pretty good lit up scenery. So that's what yeah, that's what it looks like at night.